Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Gadget Geek. Asus has launched the upgraded version of the VivoBook today and it's the VivoBook S14 and the model name is the M433i. And in this video, we will do the unboxing and show you the performance of this laptop. So here is the box. In the front of the box, we have the VivoBook branding and here at this side, we have the model number which is the M433i. And below it, we have the technical specification of this unit. The MRP on the box is 82,990 rupees. However, this laptop is available with a starting price of rupees 59,900 on Amazon and Flipkart. So now let's open the box and see the content. So when you open the box, you will see this tagline in search of incredible. And here on the top, we have the laptop itself in this cover. This is the dreamy white color and apart from that, this laptop is available in black, green and red color. My first impression about this laptop is that it's really lightweight and also feels well built. We will look at it in a moment, let's see what else we have in the box. So here we have some documentations which includes a user manual and a quick start guide. And then we have this envelope which has few stickers inside which looks pretty awesome. And then in this compartment, we have the power adapter and here we have the 45 watt power adapter. And this side, we have the power cord. So that's all we have in the box. Now let's look at the laptop closely. Asus VivoBook S14 is lightweight and weighs approximately 1.4 kilograms. The body of this laptop is made up of aluminium and here at the back, we have the Asus VivoBook branding, which looks pretty good. The back lid of this laptop is blank, so you can use those stickers to give it a personalized look and feel. The bottom of the laptop is also pretty clean, and you have the 5 rubber feet here, along with the vent for cooling. Overall, in terms of design and build quality, I like the fact that it's made up of aluminium and also very lightweight. Now let's open the lid and we'll see the keyboard first. So when you open it, we have the similar layout which we have seen in the previous versions of the VivoBook S14. Talking about the keys build quality, personally I like the key press and the spacing in this layout. They feel pretty comfortable and during our testing, I did a lot of typing on it and I find the keyboard very good. There is also this neon X and enter key which gives it a unique look. One more thing worth mentioning that you also get one more FN key on the right side of this keyboard. Below the keyboard we have the touchpad and it comes with a fingerprint scanner which will ensure easy access and security. The size of the touchpad is perfect and it's a glass touchpad with the Windows Precision driver support. It supports multi-gesture and in terms of performance, I find it pretty good. The gestures work flawlessly and the performance of the touchpad is quite good. In terms of ports, on the left side of the laptop we have the DC in power port, HDMI port, USB 3.2, a Type-C port and the combo headphone jack. On the right side we have the two USB 2.0 port and the micro SD card slot along with the status LED lights. Talking about the display and the design, we get the 14 inch LED backlit full HD screen in this laptop. The display of this laptop is the frameless nano edge display and the bezels on the sides are quite thin but you get slightly thicker bezels on the top and bottom of the screen and you get the 85% screen to body ratio. Talking about the performance, the display quality is good, the brightness is also decent and you get good viewing angles. Above the display we have the microphone and the webcam which has an HD camera. Now in terms of the technical specification of this laptop, as you guys might have noticed already that it comes with the latest Ryzen 7 4000 series processor and it's the 4700U which is an octa-core processor with 8 threads. The base clock is 2.0 GHz and the max boost is up to 4.1 GHz. Apart from this processor, this laptop is also available with the Ryzen 5 4500U hexa-core processor. Talking about the graphics, you get the integrated AMD Radeon graphics which has the graphics memory of 512 MB. And guys, this laptop is not for gaming or video editing but solely for students and business professionals. It's stylish and also lightweight which means you can easily carry this around with you. Now coming back to the technical specifications, you get the 8GB DDR4 2666MHz memory on this which is an onboard memory and unfortunately you won't be able to upgrade it. 
and in terms of the storage you get the 512 ssd drive in terms of the performance the ryzen 7 is a fast processor when it comes to using this laptop for daily tasks i've been using this laptop for few days for my day-to-day -day office work which includes mainly mailing using excel and word skype calls and watching youtube videos and there the performance is pretty good while watching videos and movies i find the screen output really good and about the speakers as the sound system is certified by Harman Kardon, you get pretty decent output from this laptop. The HD web camera also performed pretty good when tested for video conferencing. Apart from that, the boot time is very less and the fingerprint sensor on the touchpad is very fast and accurate. In terms of the connectivity, you get the Intel Wi-Fi 6 support in this laptop along with the Bluetooth 5.0. And guys, if you're still thinking about gaming on this laptop, then I can tell you that you can play casual games on this laptop such as CSGO, Rocket League, Dota at a decent 30 to 50 FPS. And I have played CSGO on it for some time and it was definitely playable. But do not expect this laptop to run heavy games as the VGA memory is just 512MB. So to sum it up, the new ASUS VivoBook is a stylish, lightweight and a well-built laptop. The price of this laptop is starting from 59,900 which will be for the base Ryzen 5 variant. I find the performance of this laptop really good especially for professionals and students. And because it's lightweight, you can carry this laptop in your bag without any issue. Overall I'm happy with the performance, design and the features of this laptop. However, there is one thing which I didn't like about this laptop is the non-upgradable RAM. The 8GB memory is soldered to the motherboard and you won't be able to upgrade it. Nonetheless, if you're a student or a professional and looking for an upgrade to a stylish laptop which not only looks good but also performs well then we highly recommend you to check out the VivoBook S14. And guys, we will be doing a detailed review of this laptop later on which will include thorough performance review as well as battery performance. So stay tuned for that. And as usual, if you like this laptop and want to buy one, then do check the buy link in the description below. So that's it guys, this was the unboxing and overview of the ASUS VivoBook S14. Let us know if you like it and also do tell us your favorite feature of this laptop in the comment section below. So that's all for now. If you like this video, then please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again, this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.